In order to be in pain, we have to have four processes, transmission, transduction, modulation, and perception. If the patient is asleep, as it is the case, uh, we cannot perceive pain, so pain doesn't exist while the patient is anesthetized. Uh, but what we have, so we have surgical stress, and this is the real problem of all the patients going under surgery. That surgical stress and that autonomous nervous system reaction is going to provoke inflammation, which is the cause of future problems. The main ones, acute pain, chronification of pain, but later on infections, one infections, even cognitive dysfunctions, uh, cancer progression, etc. In order to control that, it's very important that we know what is happening with the autonomous nervous system. And for that, we have this monitor, the parasympathetic tone animal. It's a monitor that is going to give you the percentage of parasympathetic activity that you have in your animal in real time. What we are going to collect is an ECG, and we are going to measure the distance between R to R. Those distances are going to vary depending on the nuclear accumbens and the amigus and the activity of the parasympathetic uh, tone. So we are going to measure that and we are going to offer you the high frequencies uh, normalized of that heart rate variability. That is the parasympathetic activity of your patient in real time during the last minute. And the number is just the area under the curve of the tachogram that we are going to show it to you. So what you will have here is the percentage of parasympathetic that you have in the last minute. In this case, 85% of the activity of the autonomous nervous system was parasympathetic in the last minute, and 92% of the activity of the autonomous nervous system was parasympathetic in the last two minutes. What that means is that the patient, although is now uh, being secure, is perfectly well analgetized. We are going to have as well another number, which is the energy value. The energy value is going to tell you the total power of your autonomous nervous system. In a healthy animal, we will have a number around 0.8, 1.2. When I put anesthesia on the animal or in the person, we will see that decrease because of the activity of the anesthet anesthetic drugs, and it will go to 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. That are numbers on a healthy uh, beings. But if we have a frail patient, then in an awake patient frail, we will have numbers of 0 0.5, 0 0.6 when they are awake and they will go under 0 0.1 or even 0 0.1. Those patients are very risky to have hemodynamic problems um, when they will be anesthetized. So those ones are the ones that we need to really take care. So in order to have a good analgesia, we have to provide enough analgetics in order to get values over 50%. In this way, you will be able to avoid overdosing and infradosing and perform the greatest anesthesia you may ever uh, be able to do. Thanks to the parasympathetic tone animal. Thank you very much.